this is Megan and today we're going to be making a card using an octagon template created by Ileana. And what you want to do is line your stamp up along those horizontal and vertical lines making sure your stamp sits on those lines. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using a square sheet of paper and this template was created to, to design to work with squares. This one is three and a half inches by three and a half inches and it goes anywhere up to about five or five and a half inches square. And I put a piece of sticky tape right in the middle to hold my piece of paper, and I'm using a Hero Arts soft granite ink pad to ink up my stamp. And with the Misty, this makes it so easy because you just turn the template, and I use my magnets to hold it down, and then restamp again. And by using the template, this is going to give us a spiral shape out of this barbed wire wreath. And the neat thing is this really does not take any time. Once you get going, you kind of get into a system and it's pretty quick and easy to stamp. So I'm showing this in real time so that you can see how quickly I'm able to get my big focal image with the stamps. I have found that it's a little bit easier to kind of rub on the Misty to get a quick transfer of the ink. You don't have to apply much pressure, but you can just quickly rub over it. And when you're turning your template, you do want to make sure that the octagon is seated fully in the corners and along at the bottom. Once you're done stamping, then you'll just pick up the octagon and you'll bend the octagon and keep your paper straight. I've laminated my octagon so that I can use it over and over. And there's my finished piece. And here I am showing just another bigger stamp that I used, the larger size of the Texana Designs barbed wire wreath, and this one is five inches by five inches. So what I did not show on camera was that I die cut these little doilies out of some white cardstock. And I'm using the Ranger uh, Tim Holtz Distress Crayons, and this one is fossilized amber. And I just scribbled some on my craft mat, and I'm adding a little bit of water to make kind of a paint wash and I'm just quickly painting it right around the edges of the doily. It is kind of white because it's a yellow color, but once it's dry, it is noticeable. And then I'm just going to heat set it with my heat tool to make sure it's completely dry. And then I'm gonna do the kind of the same thing. This one is using the peacock feathers and I'm scribbling it down on my mat. These are so buttery, they're so easy to color with and I really like using them. I'm just adding some water to my craft mat and I'm going to be making kind of a wash of color. And then I've stamped my sentiment that says so happy for you. I've stamped it on little strips of white paper using my Misty. And then all I'm going to do to kind of add a watercolor look is just kind of tap or pat the ink down onto the sentiment. And then I'm going to set them aside and let it dry. And then as I dry them, I go back in and kind of wet some more and um, kind of add more blobs or splotches to it to give it truly a watercolored look. When I created this card, I made a lot. <laughs> so there are several here. There's what it looks like finished. So now what I'm going to do is take the pieces of my card and I'm going to start assembling. So I've made my own homemade uh, foam blending tools and I'm using the Tim Holtz Distress Inks. This one is Peacock Feathers and I'm just taking it and flicking it around the edges just to give a little bit more definition to the edges of that blue chevron paper. This also helps to find the edges a little bit on the card and makes it look a little bit more finished. So I'm doing two strips and these are about one inch wide by four and a quarter. And I'm going to do the same thing with the fossilized amber. And I'm going to ink around this yellow piece of pattern paper that will be kind of the center under my doily. So it just gives a little bit of definition to that edge and uh, kind of gives it a tone on tone look. And now I'm going to kind of look at how it's going to lay together. Remember my doily is just a light yellow and I'm going to ink a little bit of the peacock feathers around the edge of my spiral stamped shape. And I did cut my spiral into circles using the Nestabilities 
small standard circle die. And I just picked a circle that fit into the center of the doily. Now I'm going around the doily and just giving a little bit of a more of a pop to the edge of it with the fossilized amber. So just sponging along the edge. And there's what it looks like when it's sponged. And just kind of smoothing it out with a little bit of a harsh line. So just smoothing it out a little bit, trying to just blend it in just a little bit, soften that edge. And now I'm going to take some foam tape and I'm going to put it on the back of the circle that has the spiral stamped image on it. And this foam tape is so easy to use. It rips and tears quite nicely. You don't have to cut it, although you can. Um, but I do use it on pretty much most of my projects. I'm just going to peel the backer tape off. And then I'm going to mount that circle on the center of the doily. I'm going to take my card base and what I'm going to do is put my smaller strips down first. I wanted those layered underneath the yellow. And I'm just going ahead and add an adhesive to all my layers to begin with. It's a little bit quicker. And I'm going to try and decide how much of the blue I wanted to show. So I'm going to lay that yellow piece of cardstock. It's blue on the back with a flowery pattern. But I'm going to lay that on the side so I can kind of just measure how much down I want to put that little strip. And it's going to be about a half inch down the card. I don't measure if I don't have to. I just <laughs> kind of eyeball. So I'm just putting those on there. And then next I'm going to add the yellow layer on top. And then I'm going to take my doily piece and I'm going to add some adhesive straight to it. Now the doily is just flat glued down onto the strip of card. I'm just adding some more adhesive around the edges. And then I'm going to add it to the card base kind of off centered and hanging off the edge just a little bit. Just kind of gives a little bit more movement to the card and a little bit more interest. So there's where I am right now. And then next I'm just going to trim off that little bit that hangs off the edge of the card. I just flip it over and use my scissors to follow the straight edge of the card base. And I'm going to, where I trimmed a little bit, um, it trimmed off the blue edging. Now I'm adding a little bit of yellow um, to the top and the bottom of the white part of the card base just to kind of tie the colors in again and soften the edges. And then I'm going to grab one of my sentiment strips and just kind of figure out where I want to put this on the card. And then I'm going to do a V cut in the end, a ribbon end cut, and I just cut straight up the center and then I'm going to cut in from the sides. And then I wanted it to overlap that little spiral piece, but not too much of it because the pattern was so cool once I got done stamping. Now I'm taking a piece of foam tape and I just cut a little section there so that, remember the spiral is up on my foam tape, so I'm putting a little piece there to support my sentiment. And then the rest of it will be glued onto the card with just regular adhesive. So I'm just lining it up and I will trim off that edge. To finish off this card, all I did was add a little bit of stitching with a gray marker around the sentiment and also at the top and the bottom of the card on the white cardstock. Thank you so much for watching my video. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.